Tom was very, very isolated and he was very closed in. He didn't seem to want to interact with anybody at all. He was actually four years and nine months old when we started. So he was one of the older children to start. But we were willing to give absolutely anything to try to try and reach our little boy because he was so closed off from our world. What actually happened then? Just talk us through what the process was when you you were given this this help. The sessions were all play-based, so there was lots of toys around for Tom to play with, and they were all completely video recorded, and we'd have a little session where Tom would be on the floor playing, and I'd try to interact with him, and at the end, our therapist would go through it with me very slowly and point out little signs that Tom was given that we couldn't see because we were involved, and it was signs that we were missing that he did want us involved, and he was trying to invite us into his play. What were these signs like? What Could you just describe what they initially, were like? Initially, it was literally just a flicker of the eyelashes. He'd just look up for a split second and look down. And we had to try and wait for those moments and read them. And when he looked up at me, I was to then go closer to him. And when we started to recognise those and build on them, it became easier to get his eye contact for slightly longer period. At home, we worked on that. And we, we always bought the skills that we'd been taught that day. And we try and involve them in play at home and build on them so that by the time we went back we were then looking at the next step and the next improvement. What were those improvements like? Where have you got to now? I actually got all the old notes out last night and I was reading through them. Uh, When he first started he was four years and nine months old and his level of language understanding was estimated to be at around one year and three months old. Now he's got such a fantastic understanding of language he plays around with words he says the opposite on purpose because he thinks it's funny and when you think about that little boy who had very limited understanding of our world now he just shows amazing understanding of language and the relationships that different words have with each other we could never have imagined he'd get here were there any qualms about essentially being taught how to have a different sort of relationship with your child It did feel strange that I had to go to a stranger and her to tell me how to engage with my own son. At at first, it did feel a little bit alien and it was a bit upsetting that we had to go through that. But when we started seeing progress quite early on, just even that Tom would tolerate us sitting beside him while he played the game or he'd allow me to speak about the game he was playing. At first, it was just silly things like saying, this man has got a red hat, there's the green car. Before I learned how to read Tom, if I had tried to do that, it had just escalated into a massive tantrum. Now his language has progressed so much that he could get his needs met with a stranger. He could walk up to you and say, hello, man, I would like juice for me. And so he can communicate to a degree on a good level. From where you were before you started with the study to where you are now, how have your hopes changed? Oh, massively so. I mean, with with Tom, he was so isolated and so closed in. We didn't have any type of relationship with him and we could never see him having any kind of independence at all. Um, I do think that Tom will need support throughout life, but I also think there are possibilities for him now that I never thought were going to ever materialise. At one point, I did think he was just going to be a lost little boy forever and never have anything. 